terrifying unidentified object just detected by International Space Station. For many years, we've dreamt about it, told stories, and even made movies of strange celestial lights and aircraft landing on our planet. Some even claimed aliens came out of these UFOs. All these occurrences don't stop and are not going to stop soon. Recently, an unidentified object was sighted flying into the atmosphere. Stay until the end to find out what this UFO is. Welcome to our channel, where we provide you with facts related to space and technology. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our updates. Around November 1989, the Belgian UFO waves were sighted. It was a series of triangular UFOs in Belgium. Many reports were filed many weeks after the event. Many words related to a large object flying at a low altitude, while some stated that the craft was triangular, with three lights flying gradually and soundlessly. The lights were so bright that a policeman described them as the floodlight on a vast football field. Only slowly will you notice the object they emitted from, an enormous hulking triangular shape with three huge spotlights pointed towards the ground and a red flashing light at the center. The policeman found it hard to believe himself as he recalled that the whole thing was floating in the air. As we've said earlier, the incident occurred in November 1989, with the policeman and his partner going on a patrol in Eupen in Belgium, a town close to the German border. The policeman and his partner called their dispatcher to report the object they stumbled upon while on patrol. The dispatcher on the receiving end told Unsolved Mysteries that they made a joke about the strange objects when he was told they said the mysterious object might be Santa Claus trying to land. But by the time the evening was over, three separate pairs of police officers and 30 different groups alleged to have seen the unidentified object, and they weren't the last. Belgium's month-long UFO wave culminated 32 years ago today, on March 30th, 1990, in a psychic's challenging chase through the skies over Europe. Two Belgian Air Force F-16s followed mysterious objects on their radars that they couldn't even see. Is it true that aliens visited Belgium? It seemed unlikely then, yet over three decades later it is still difficult to entirely dismiss the odd sighting in the country between November 1989 to April 1990. Patrick Ferrand, the president of the Belgian Committee for the Study of Space Phenomena, said in an interview with The Telegraph, One must know most of these sightings will have a banal explanation. But there is a residue that can't be explained. Regardless, things started to get strange in March 1990. At that point, there have been months of sporadic sightings throughout Belgium. Even an army colonel, André Amund, claimed to have seen the light while driving with his wife in December. The Belgian military was well aware of the descriptions pouring in from all over the country, but had little in the way of answers. Then the chief of operations of the air staff, General Wilfred de Brouwer, who made his account accessible to investigative journalist Leslie Keane for her 2010 book, UFO Generals, Pilots and Government Officers Go on the Record, said that his original belief was that the American military must have been testing some sort of experimental aircraft over his country. He went as far as to file investigations with the U.S. Embassy in Brussels, prompting the Americans to create a dryly titled Belgium and the UFO Issue, which confirms that no USAF stealth aircraft were operating in the area throughout the periods in question. A flying saucer found in Africa an alien sighting was also reported in the African country of Zimbabwe. In 1994, 60 children at a school in Zimbabwe said they had seen a UFO and an alien with big eyes in a bush near their school playground. The story was broadcast all over the world by the BBC crew, who were among the first on the scene. 
There were also reports of a craft and strange lights in the sky in other parts of the country, South Africa and Zambia. In the case of Zimbabwe, it is assumed that the appearance of UFOs was accurate, and the dominant bodies and opinion leaders should make it vital to the population that these alien comings were never fiction. This incident occurred in Ariel School in Urua, Zimbabwe, in 1994 when children saw a UFO land in the schoolyard. Moreover, they said they saw aliens escaping the flying object, talking with them using telepathy, and leaving. The children were frightened by that experience and told everything to the teacher and parents right after it happened. It isn't something new that encounters like that are not made public and are blocked by the authorities. Despite being one of the well-witnessed cases of strangers potentially trying to link with humanity, there is no authorized acknowledgement of the alien sightings from the Zimbabwe government. Let's take a look at the Travis Walton UFO. The Travis Walton UFO incident was an alleged abduction of an American named Travis Walton. He was a forestry worker who went missing for five days and six hours. After days of searching with scent dogs and helicopters, he reappeared. In his narration, Watson said there were six in number, and driving from their workplace in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest, Snowflake, near Arizona, while driving home, they allegedly bumped into a saucer-shaped object flying over the ground 110 feet away. Walton stated that he got down to check, and a beam of light appeared unexpectedly and hit him, which made him unconscious. Walton further said he woke up in a hospital-like room, with three short and bald individuals in the room watching him. He reported that he fought with them till a human, wearing a hat, led him to another room where he passed out. Walton said he woke up and found himself by the roadside near Heber, Arizona. What of the Titanic sonar blip? The wreck of the Titanic recently provided a surprising discovery. Paul Henry Nargolette, a veteran nautile submersible pilot and diver, has jumped down into the Titanic shipwreck more often than most, more than 30 times in total. On one of those tours in 1998, he recovered a secretive sonar blip close to the wrecked place. In the period, no one has been able to find what the blip was, whether another shipwreck, some geographical feature, or something new overall. But recently, in 2022, the mystery has finally been solved. In an expedition down to the Titanic shipwreck previously this year, Nargolette and his fellow investigators went to the blip's previous location in search of the strange object it could represent. Due to the blip's magnitude, Nargolette assumed that he was after another shipwreck, but they were able to document a rocky deep-sea reef crowded with marine life such as lobsters, deep-sea fish, sponges, and different species of corals that could be thousands of years old. We didn't know what we would discover, says Nargolette. On the sonar blip, this could have been any number of belongings together with the potential of it being another shipwreck. Professor Murray Roberts of the Applied Marine Biology and Ecology at the University of Edinburgh, who is also a researcher in the expedition, commented that the animals in this part of the ocean differ from others. He said that Nargolette did a great job, thinking it was a shipwreck. It later turned out to be something more impressive than that. What did the ISS detect? Ivan Wagner, a Russian cosmonaut on the ISS, has shared footage of what he described as a space guest that made an appearance into the atmosphere. Wagner posted the one-minute Twitter video showing the Aurora Australis peak as it moved from the Antarctic to Australia. He added a caption under the video that one will see something other than Aurora. Wagner explained this better in a follow-up tweet, where he directed his audience to look closely at the video's 9 to 12 seconds mark to spot the UFO. He further wrote that five objects appear to be flying alongside the same distance. What could they be? Satellites or asteroids? 
The five bright objects appeared in a straight line just above the curve of the Earth. However, it needed to be clarified when precisely the footage was captured, and Wagner saw the unidentified object when they arrived later on. While there hasn't been any comment from NASA publicly, Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, retweeted the post with a caption that says, An interesting and at the same time mysterious video has been made by a Russian cosmonaut from the International Space Station. The glimpse of unidentified objects and alien civilization has occurred multiple times on our planet and has even been a tangible manifestation to commoners, such as the Belgian UFO and the Zimbabwe UFO that landed in a school playground. More so, recent terrifying objects captured by a Russian cosmonaut is evidence that aliens are still parading our planet. However, the government is always trying to cover any sightings of aliens from the public. What is the main reason authorities don't acknowledge any sightings and try to curb their spread? Let us know your opinion in the comments box. Kindly subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button so you will be updated on our new videos. Until then, take care.